previously on Lime Moms. <laughs> How's my mom? She sustained a head injury when she collapsed in the bathroom, so we have kept her in an induced coma. She will remain in this state for the next three days until the swelling goes down. Three days? Is that safe? Can you hear us? <laughs> so later. Dad? Richard, hey! Oi! How long ago was this? How long has my dad had a mistress? Since Hillary was three. That's the year mum went a bit crazy. Her blood pressure has stabilised. Her test has come back from the lab and everything looks good. Doctors... Feeling better today, Mom? It's us. Winston, Hillary and Margaret. Doctors? You have all become doctors? I'm the head of cardiology. And I'm the head of anaesthetics. And I'm the CEO. All three of you? Doctors? I'm so happy. My children. All doctors. Feeling better today? Ah, yes. Of course your mother is feeling better. All my children are doctors. Mrs. Lian? Huh? Oh. <laughs> you look like you were having a nice dream. It's not a dream. It's a look into the future. <laughs> a dream into the future? What did you see? I see myself signing the discharge papers. There are so many things I need to do. The kids need to get back to their routine. The house needs to be cleaned up. I can go home soon, right? That's what I'm here to talk to you about. I've sent out that email you needed sent. Oh, and I've also moved your appointment with Mr. O. So everything is under control. Have I told you that I love you? Not often enough. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm serious. No, seriously, seriously. I love you. I don't know what I would do without you around here. I promise you, okay? Once all this madness is over, I'm giving you a long overdue treat. I'm looking forward to that. Hello? Yes? What? I yeah, uh, I'll be right over. What happened? It's my friend. I, I need to rush to the hospital. Jaden, can you... Don't worry about anything. Just go. Thank you. Oh, and I... Yeah. Yeah, I know. You love me. Bye. Bye. Wait, wait! You forgot something! You left this behind. This? I, th I thought it was in the recycling. Huh? You thought this was rubbish? Oh. Wow. Hey, you know for me to do this? Very hard, eh? What's this? If you turn to page three of your handout, you will see that silver plus bromine equals to silver bromide. Understand? Hey, hey. Silver bromide. The bromide was spell.
the wrong how to spell. Those words I don't know. They are anyhow spell. Tell you. Nobody in class knows also. Took notes for me while I was at the hospital. Yalla. I've never been so hard working my life before. Oh, headache, headache. Thanks. Thanks? Thanks only, ah. Treat me bubble tea, eh? Sure, but I need to go see my mom at the hospital. Hey, I go with you. You sure want to see my mom? Your headache's going to get worse. Ayo, you don't know one. Hospital, got cute nurses, me. With short dresses. My head will be fine. Hey, do you know what happened? No, I just got here. What did the doctor say? The hospital called and said she had an emergency and we should rush down. I thought she was getting better. Me too. Okay. It's only for a while, I promise. No, you can't leave the hospital without the doctor's permission. Hey. Gee, are you okay? Uh, it's okay, we can handle these things. We got a call that it was an emergency. What's going on? Uh -huh. Yeah! Uh, yes, it's an emergency. Let's go. You can't leave in that. I'll bring this back. Are you getting discharged? Yes, now. In that? Wait, says who? You're the doctors. What do the doctors know? I'm fine and I need to go home. You guys got to help me. Uh, no! I can make it back in time and get Margaret to do one more test paper. Oh. Get back in bed. Now. Oh. I really don't know how to do this. Pulling that cute face isn't going to help you to pass exams. Try again. What about this? Sorry, I'm immune. Back to work. Come on, Nabila. We've been through questions like this before. So, if Tom packed 56 boxes of seven buns, and Jerry had 168 more buns than Tom, and he packed them equally into boxes of eight, Correct? You did it. I mean, you see? I told you you could do it. I did it! What were you thinking, Chi? It's Chi, I just spoke to the doctors and they are completely against you being discharged. See? How can I rest when I'm worried about my children? I need to be with them. Hey, Winston. Hello, aunties. Auntie. This for you. You'll get better soon. Thank you. Winston, can you please talk some sense into your mother? She's insisting on leaving before she's ready. Mom, you don't have to worry about us. I can take care of Hillary and Margaret. Look at your uniform. It's not iron. I cannot let you go to school like that. What have you been eating? Che, don't worry. We can help you look after the kids. Mm -hmm. I can take care of myself. You gonna help me clean the house, cook for the children? You have your own family. It's just another week, Che. You'll be fine. Yeah, we can manage. I can help too, Auntie. You just rest well and concentrate on getting better. That's right, Che. If you rush yourself out of the hospital, you might get a relapse and you might be back here within a week. And then you'll take even longer to recover. Yala, yala. My grandfather always say that. Don't listen to the teacher, never mind. But I must listen to the doctors. Rest, okay? Please. I'll be back. What about SA1 preparation? No, it's fine. It's such a long way off. Yeah, like one month away. Mm -hmm. It's next week. Your SA1's next week, right? Let me check. Yeah. Next week. How's your mother? Seeing you will make her feel better. Is there anything I can do? How are you and your sisters? I brought you some. We don't need your help. Winston, take this. We don't need you to do anything. Just go.
to see your mom? Yeah. You didn't go in? I don't need anything from him. I don't need anything from anyone. Essay one is just one exam. You've got to let it go. I mean, even MOE is trying to decrease the overemphasis on these tests. One exam? This year, my stress levels are three times. I've got GEP, I've got PSLE, and Winston streaming is this year. You want me to let it go? Well, if only P3 were next year, then we wouldn't have mid-years to prepare for. Oh, by the way, Chi, Grace has offered to let your children forego SA one and just use SA two in their report books. Really? But I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Auntie, I tell you, there's no point having the highest PSLE score, being in triple science, or being in GTP if your mother is unwell. Spencer, hmm? it's GEP. Oh. Auntie, are you Uncle Kui or not? Chicken skin? Don't be disgusting, man. That's well, the best part. Don't waste it. What would you do? About chicken skin? No, if you were Chilean. Oh, like, would I discharge myself against doctor's orders? I don't know. I might. I can totally understand how she's feeling. I mean, who else can take care of my kid better than me, right? Reza? I can't die before Reza. That's why women live longer than men. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with having two X chromosomes or our DNA or something like that. No, that's nonsense. Women need to live longer than men because men can't even take care of themselves. What more their children? Don't forget the houseplants. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I have a friend who went on vacation for two weeks away from her husband and son. When she came back, she swore she saw more growing behind her son's ears. Oh, seriously, do you're going to make me lose my appetite. Honestly though, have you ever like woken up in the middle of the night and start thinking what's going to happen to your kid if you're not around anymore? Have you? Yeah, a couple of times. And that is why I do eat chicken skin. Take your damn skin back. Somebody such a sleepy head, huh? Be here! <laughs> hey, don't run! Come back! Hey. Oh my goodness, what's the problem? Stop Winston, Margaret, Hillary. Ma'am, I'm Dr. Spencer. We'll get back to you later. Spencer, you're a doctor? Hi, I'm Dr. Nabila. And I'm Dr. Kai. <laughs> Excuse us while we get back to the other patients. Sustain these injuries while rollerblading. Broken leg, concussion, dislocated shoulder. I think it's more than rollerblading. Ah, uh, smart, smart, smart. What happened? I see this guy, I don't like his face. I punch. Got a problem? You look familiar. Didn't we go to school together? 
We used to be clever, but our mother go hospital. They never prepare us for sec 2 streaming, GP exam, PSLE. So, end up like this, though. Again. So you remember those good old days? The kids, I need to go. They're gonna be okay. How would you know? You don't have kids. Because you're their mother. They've got your super achiever genes. Of course they're gonna be okay. They're survivors, just like you. Remember when you were around Winston's age? Chilean, wake up. What time is it? It's almost evening. Why didn't you wake me up? You look so tired, so I let you sleep longer. Lousy friend, I have no time to sleep. I have to go home and cook, and then go give tuition. But Chilean, you have to rest. How can I rest when my mom's working two jobs too? I have to help her, right? True. Well, at least have something to eat first. No time, no money. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, try my cooking. You made this? Yep, I did. So long ago. It was tough, but you survived. Your kids are tough like you. Now I'm even more worried. I don't want my children to suffer like I did. When my dad left, it was hard. Mom was trying so hard to provide for everything. But there were times I just... I just needed a father. And Winston is at that age that he needs a father more than ever. There's so many things I just don't know how to talk to him about. Look, I helped you back then. I'll help you now with the kids. Don't worry. Hey, look. I've already worked out what I'm going to cook for them. Yeah. These are my children. My family. My problems. I have to settle this on my own. Whoa, no parents at home. So shook. Sure. You say you come over to help me clean. So clean. Hey, you have the whole house to yourself. So whatever stupid idea is gonna come off your mouth next, forget it. Hey Emily, I'm at home all by myself. Huh? What do you want? Oh, you dirty. Me? The mom's so dirty. It's full of germs. If I were you, I will ask Emily over. I, I can't. Why not? It's, it's so embarrassing. Every time I'm with her... Something comes up. Disgusting. Come, help me move this to my mom's room. What's this? What's this doing here? Uncle Benhien bought it for my mom. So that she have good restful sleep. Whoa, so romantic. Maybe he's also thinking of... Don't go there. Emily? My dad. Oh. Can you believe it? It's already time for SE1. Mini exams. 
but it's not even mid year yet. Exactly. So we all thought mid year is in June, right? But no, sayang, SA one is next week. Next week? So soon? I don't know how this can just sneak up on me like that, sayang. In P one, it caught me by surprise. Now Nabila is in P three. I should be more prepared for this. SA one is just to see how much they've learned. If they don't do well, they will panic and then they will work harder for the next exam. No, sayang. SA one is when you score for SA two. It's counter. You know you cannot slack. Wait, Nabila has to do all these papers. Yeah, and I don't even know whether I have the time, sayang. I have work, I have Haris. How about that genius that you hired? Clyde or Claude? It's Claude, sayang. And I don't think he has the time, sayang. You're so kanchong like this, you'll end up like Chilean in the hospital. Papa, you're making me even more stressed. Relax, okay? These have answers, right? Yeah, why? Okay, just leave it to me. I'll make sure Nabila is ready for SA1. You? Yeah? If that client or clown can do it, so can I. How hard can P3 maths be? Che. That's it. It doesn't look like fish. It doesn't smell like fish. Just eat it. Maybe it'll taste better than it looks. Mm. It tastes a lot worse than it looks. God, can we eat something else? Maybe that's your father. What does he want? Why else you never answer his messages? Maybe he has food. Real food. One. Based on our schedules, we can split half half. Yeah. I take two subjects, you take two subjects. Sure. I'll take uh, English and math. No way, those are Kai's best subjects. <laughs> well, then you just have to work hard at teaching him. You don't think I can do it? Well, good luck. Whole meaning. When the exam results come out, Kai is going to do way better at my subjects than your subjects. You're on. Let's go. <laughs> Hurry up. Your mom didn't want me to cook, but I already prepared the ingredients, so I didn't want it to go to waste. Eat it while it's hot. God, it's already cooked. I'll go first. I'll go for a run. You're not hungry. You should eat. I ate while I was cooking. Save some for me. You can have the fish. Ew. Don't, don't. Relaxing. Exams is just around the corner. All done. Finished. So fast? Yeah. Show me the papers. Daddy marked them all. Really? Reza 
Ali, what is the meaning of this? These are all blanks. It's not completed. Daddy said I don't have to do it. Have you seen the type of questions they ask? I never learned that until secondary school. Yeah, but that's what they teach them now. But why? Then what will they learn in secondary school? You didn't even draw any model dice. Because I never learned that in school. Sayang, I love you and I know you mean well, but you're fired. Claude and I will settle this. Why? Because I need help for SE1. Winston! What do you want? You don't want to talk to me? Fine. Just take this. Those, like today. Are you getting stressed out by exams? No, I'm getting stressed out by my parents. Well, you know they just want you to do well. No, they want themselves to do well. Min, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? What are you doing here? Um, our roster, I'm supposed to go get the kids. You are supposed to get the lunch. No, that's tomorrow. Oh, great. I'm a lawyer. You own a multi-million dollar startup and yet we can't feed five children. Food delivery? No, they had that yesterday. We should get them something home cooked, you know, something sprinkled with love instead of MSG. I guess I could go to the supermarket and we can find yeah. something. Hey. Hi. Oh, for the kids? <gasps> yeah, I boiled them some soup. Good for the concentration, helps them study. Bing Hien, you are the Tinka King. The Tapao superhero, the takeaway guru. You're the best. Hey, look, I, I, I gotta go. Uh, wait, you're not gonna say hi to the kids? I think it's better they don't know it's from me. Don't say anything to Chilean, okay? Just say you cooked it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why can't we say it's from you? They might not eat it. I'll see you girls. So sweet. Wow, this is a lot of money. A lot, lot of money, eh? What are you gonna do with it? Rip it up. Huh? No, seriously. You're just trying to help. Isn't that a good sign? He just wants to feel better about himself. I'll feel better if someone gave me so much money. I feel insulted. What? This is how much he thinks we're worth. Cheating on my mom? A thousand dollars. Missing on birthdays, maybe another few thousand. Not coming home, not caring. This is how much we're worth. So, I'm going to tell mom about this. Hi, can I help you? I'm just wondering if we could arrange for extra lessons with Nabila for the SA1. Like, this weekend maybe? Look, uh, let me check my schedule and I'll get back to you. As I mentioned, I don't usually work on the weekends. Well, I really hope you can. Just this one time. Nabila, she's always telling me how much she enjoys the sessions with you. She's a great girl. Thanks, Claude. We can discuss more when you come by later. Okay, no problem. All right, bye. Bye. Can you bank it in for me? We don't need his money. I don't want his money. Winston. We have bills to pay. If he's giving us the money, I'm taking it. We can manage. I can give tuition if you need more money. If we don't use his money, he'll just spend it on his mistress and their children. If we take his money, he'll think that what he did is okay. 
I'm never gonna let him think it's okay. Winston! I can do it. I can be the man of the house. I can take care of all of you. We do not need him or his money. Winston. Winston! Five minutes and you stop doing your homework. But we're doing our homework. You never play with your phones? No phones during study time. You never draw cartoons? Who has time for drawing? We have so much to do. So, when you do your homework, you really do your homework? Duh. If we don't finish, we'll be in trouble. Yeah, I have this compo to write. I keep thinking, but I don't have any ideas. Same here. You two need my help. You're good at compo. God said you can't spell. Ah, nah, nah. Yo. So, you two want me to help or not? How did you know that? Well, I see how you get all frog-eyed when we learn about the life cycle of frogs. You're the best teacher. Should we take a picture? All right. Okay. All right. Do you want me to send it to you? Do you have a hand phone? No. Mommy says we can only get a phone in sec one. Oh, I see. Well, she's right. Do you really like it? Yep. Winston? Enough, enough, enough. Go back to work, go back to work. Go, go, go. Hey, feeling better? Yeah, I know what to write about now. An exciting football match. <laughs> Thanks, Spencer. I really need a break. See, see, see. Told you guys I can help. You guys have to study. But sometimes, also have to relax, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Study, study, study. You can't relax all the time too. Yeah, do your work. Oh, you girls really like your brother. Eh? <laughs> so, you want to learn how to cook? Hmm? Yeah. Okay, come. Go on. Hey, sorry I gave you the job I hate the most, cutting onions. It makes me cry like a baby every time. <laughs> Don't touch your eyes. Um, Uncle Bacon, why do you do this? What? Cooking? Um, yeah, you, you could have just paid someone to do this. You didn't have to cook for my sisters. You even prepared a menu. You, you could be doing something else. I could be doing other things, it's true. 
But at this moment, I think it's important that you and your mom eat well. And I want the best for all of you. Hey, don't touch your face. Like, just... My dad would have just paid someone to do this. Hey, nothing wrong with that either. My dad thinks money can solve everything. So does my mom, but... I know. Your mom and I have been friends for a long time. She was smart, hardworking, kind, funny. When her father left, she had to take care of the whole family. It was hard on her, but she never complained. I really admired her. She knew I liked her. But then she met your father, and she married him. He had money, and she thought that could solve everything. My, my mom married my dad because of his money. She didn't love him. No, 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 she did. I'm sure of it. I thought my parents were good people. Turns out they're not. Dad is another family in my... Hey, your mom always does what's best for everyone else. Even if it's the worst thing for her. I, I don't know why I came here. I'm sorry. I didn't know who else to ask. Winston, go and talk to your mom. What do you mean, Kao is not at home? He left the hospital a long time ago. I'll call you back. Ness, I need to go home. My son is missing. Uh, you can't leave the hospital without a doctor's permission. How can I stay here when my son is missing? Instead, oh. Where have you been? Where did you go? You want to be like an adult, but you're behaving like an irresponsible teenager, mm -hmm. running off like that? I can't do this anymore. What's wrong with them? I want to go back to thinking that my parents are the best, the smartest people in the world. I want to go back to the times that we used to have. When you you used to talk to me at night and tell me stories. Winston, I'm so sorry. I don't want to hit you or your dad anymore. I just... just tell me what happened. Life that happened. Your father and I were living the life we had planned. We had you. We had Margaret. And then we had Hillary. It was perfect. And then your father's business did even better. He started travelling to China a lot. I couldn't go with him. And he had to do a lot of entertaining. That must be when he started meeting other women. I was worried. But I thought he just needed some fun and would come back to me, to his three children. But when Hilary was three, your father said he wanted to leave. 
He said our marriage was just an act. I was broken and stressed. And I know that I shouldn't have, but I took it out on the three of you. That was when I hit Hillary. Hillary, what are you doing? I knew it was no excuse, but I just couldn't control myself any longer. After that, I knew I had to do something. And the best thing was to ask your father to just not bring his affairs home until the three of you were more mature. Wanted the right thing for everyone else. Even if it meant the worst thing for you. I, I thought keeping it from you is the best thing I could do. I'm old enough to understand. You have to do this alone. Not bad. Not bad at all. I scored highest in the class for compo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Quickly say thank you, Spencer Shifu. What about you? How did you score? Of course, very good. You topped the class? No, no, no. I only feel like three marks this time. I'm the man. Looks like everyone did well and mommy's coming out of hospital. I think it's time for celebration. Yay! Yay! <laughs> you scored the same marks for everything? How did you? I did it on purpose. You two had a stupid competition. I wasn't stressed out about the exam papers. I was stressed out about getting the same marks so no one would win. Kai, we're sorry. We promise never to make it about us again. So, how are you going to make it up to me? <laughs> a new book? New book? Come on, new drone. No, another competition. A competition to see who can plan the best holiday for me. Didn't you just say competitions are stupid? Why? You scared? Me? Scared? You're wrong. You wrote all this by yourself? No, I had some help. From who? Winston? Or Margaret help you? Spencer. Spencer, make sure you did the homework. No, I want to make sure we had fun. I think I'm starting to like Spencer. I'll go get it. Hello. Hi. Hello, Auntie. Hi, Emily. I hope you're feeling better. Thanks for coming to my welcome home party. I wouldn't miss it. Winston said he helped the cook. Food is almost ready. Wow, it smells so good. Thanks. When you come to Ensign High, get ready for really horrible food. About Ensign High? Oh, Dory. I'll take care of him when he comes over. Winston! Why don't you and I go bring the food in, and ladies, would you like to join us in the dining area? Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Benhien, is it all right if I come over to your house sometime? Yeah. More, more cooking lessons? Uh, maybe go lessons too. Sure. What do you think? You did much better than expected. Are you expecting another present? No, I couldn't have done it without you and I want to get you something. What would you like? 
No need. I don't want you to waste your money. I want to get you something because you're the best teacher ever. Look, I'm just happy that you did well, okay? I know what I can give you. Oh, yeah? What's that? A hug. A hug for the best teacher.